Extremely dangerous Category 4 Hurricane Irma heads for Leeward Islands. There's now a hurricane warning in effect for Puerto Rico. Everybody's watching this dangerous storm very closely. I'm Mike Naso from the Tropical Update page on YouTube with the latest on this extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane. There's the uh, view of the Atlantic, the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and obviously on the right edge of the screen is a very powerful major hurricane, Irma, moving straight west right now. It'll eventually bend west-northwest, just north or over, potentially, some of the northern islands. Puerto Rico, you're not out of the woods yet. You're now under a hurricane warning. And from there, the Turks, Caicos, and the uh, Bahamas are under the gun from what is forecast to be an extremely dangerous hurricane for the next five days, at least. Now, here's the latest on Hurricane Irma. This is as of 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the hurricane was at 16.7 north, 55.6 west. Maximum winds were 140 miles per hour with higher gusts. It's moving west still, 12, 13 miles per hour, straight west. 943 millibar pressure is a very powerful hurricane. And you can see the forecast track here from the National Hurricane Center. The official track does take it over the next one, two, three days right up north of Puerto Rico into the Turks, Caicos, and the Bahamas. And beyond that, towards the Straits and the Florida coastline, you are now in the cone of uncertainty uh, four or five days out if you live in the state of Florida. Now, it's still too early to pinpoint if and when it will directly hit the United States, but now is the time to be overlooking your hurricane supply kit, uh, making sure you're gassed up, you got all your medicine uh, prescriptions refilled, make sure you got some cash on the side, and where you would go uh, should you be asked to evacuate. There is now, of course, a state of emergency uh, declared in Florida. This doesn't look good. Uh, you can see Irma is clearing out a new eye and uh, it's going to have that large eye and it's probably going to intensify further. It's already a 140 mile an hour category four hurricane. So you can't get <laughs> a whole lot stronger than it is now to show you just how dangerous this storm is. However, uh, in the islands in Puerto Rico, you're going to begin to see the weather deteriorate through the day Tuesday. And then as the hurricane moves, over or near these islands, you will, if you get in the eye wall, have devastating conditions, which is why those hurricane warnings are out for the northern islands and now for Puerto Rico with the expectation that Irma may get close enough to Puerto Rico to give hurricane force winds. Whether or not you guys get hurricane winds or even the disastrous major hurricane winds uh, is too soon to say. Remember, with these hurricanes, the strongest winds, those 140 mile per hour winds, are right around the eye of the hurricane in the eye wall. So you could just miss it, but you'd rather be prepared and miss it than not be prepared and get a direct hit. Now this was the uh, 18Z GFS model, which took it just, I mean, north of Puerto Rico, through the Bahamas, right into southeast Florida, say from Key West, Key Largo, Fort Lauderdale, right up the coast. You guys need to be on the maximum level of alert right now as Irma is strengthening and appears to be on track. And the closer we get, uh, the more certain the track will become. Now what the question has been with all these computer models has been, when will the hurricane turn? We basically have it being steered by high pressure to the north of it, and eventually there's going to be some turn from a weakness in the high pressure. And it, should that turn occur earlier, you'd be dealing with maybe the Carolinas. Should it occur later, maybe even the west coast of Florida, down the road. Right now, a lot of these models are in agreement that somewhere in the Florida Straits, maybe the Northern Keys, the southeast tip of Florida, right now that's what, they're like in that area. And even though it's still five days out, you're starting to get to the point to where it's getting a little bit uh, anxious, would be the right word, about this hurricane. Right now the official Hurricane Center track, of course, takes it right into the Straits of Florida. There's always a chance it could start to turn there or continue further west, but that's just, I mean, a Category 4 hurricane 
uh, in early September taking aim at South Florida. Uh, it's happened many times in the past, but it's always very bad when it does. So there's a lot of uncertainty once we get past the Bahamas. In the meantime, squarely in the Bahamas and the Northern Islands, you guys are directly in the path of this thing, and you need to be on the alert now because of Hurricane Irma. It's a very dangerous storm. You can see over the United States right now, you might or might not be able to hear it on my uh, audio here in Ohio, we have some severe thunderstorms moving through, and this is an association with that front moving through. Now this is going to weaken the ridging a little bit, and there was hope that this trough would weaken the ridging so that Hurricane Irma would start to turn. However, it appears that it's going to miss that connection with the trough, and the ridging will hold at least enough to bring it, if not over Florida, dangerously close in a couple of days. However, this is still an East Coast threat. I mean, if you live in Cape Hatteras, if you live in Charleston, if you live in uh, Tybee Island, Georgia, you guys need to be on alert uh, because uh, Irma may always take that track up the coast. Remember, it was just less than a year ago, Hurricane Matthew paralleled the coast of Florida right into South Carolina. Remember that? I do. Hurricanes like this are nothing new. We've had many in history. Uh, you can see these are the tracks from Weather Underground of Category 3, 4, and 5, the major hurricanes, within 2 degrees of Irma since we've been keeping track in 1851. And you can see a couple of them I can see clearly. We have, of course, our uh, 1947 storm, which hit near Fort Lauderdale, which was very devastating. We have Hurricane Donna, which came right up the uh, Florida Keys and was devastating, and then up the East Coast. We have Hurricane Hugo, which slammed into South Carolina in 1989 as a Category 4 hurricane. So I'm not saying that Irma is going to be a Donna or a 47 storm or a Hugo, but it's happened before. So we're going to watch this very, very carefully. Donna has been talked a lot of, uh, about a lot today just because of the similarities in the track. Donna was a very long-tracked African wave Category 5 hurricane. It uh, impacted the Northern Islands, and then it bent back west, and then it started to turn right into the Florida Keys as a Category 4, and that was, of course, very, very devastating. So we're looking at past hurricanes to try and determine whether or not this future hurricane could be as bad as some of these computer models show. Regardless, it's better to be safe than sorry. So, as you go to bed tonight, wake up tomorrow, have your plan of action ready if you live in Florida. Certainly if you live in the Bahamas, you guys look like whether it would turn further north or not, you're going to just be right in the uh, cone of impact. And of course, in the short term, we now have a hurricane warning for Puerto Rico, batten down the hatches in the U.S. Virgin Islands, the British Virgin Islands, the all the leewards from Guadalupe North, because Hurricane Irma, she's a very dangerous storm. I'm Mike Naso, and I'll see you guys next time with more on extremely dangerous Category 4, Hurricane Irma.